What's up, guys? Today, we're going to be talking about goal setting with Spence Deasy. What's up, yo? So, it's been, what, four, about four months since you've been back in California? Yeah, just about four months. Do you remember what one of the first things we did was when you got home? Yeah, one of the first things we did was uh, we went out and bought some cork boards and created vision boards for ourselves and uh, set a list of goals for the next month. Then it was six months, one year, five years, ten years. And uh, it's been a pretty eye-opening process. Um, I can honestly say that I've made a lot of those goals, but then I haven't made a lot of those goals as well. Um, and it's it's really just shifted my perspective a lot. So I split up my vision board into three categories. One being uh, business goals, uh, health and wellness goals, mm -hmm. and then personal life goals. Yep. And one of the biggest goals I accomplished was under health. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, it, I'm, it had a lot to do with our slap bet, mm -hmm. which... Which we're starting a new one. We are, but... Maybe I'll slap Tyler this time. He's probably not going to. But one of my biggest goals was to lose 10 pounds by the end of the year. Yeah. I ended up losing 25. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I think other than the fact that we had a bet on it was I saw my vision board every single morning. I looked at it. I saw the photo. I put a photo of healthy food, like fruits and vegetables and stuff. And then a couple people I would like to look like and wrote down exactly my specific goals with 10 pounds. Oh, that's why you had those pictures. I thought you just like do to six packs. <laughs> God damn it. I'm definitely cutting that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, so I put I put those pictures and wrote down the specifics and I nailed them for the first goal mm -hmm. by the end of the year. And then mm -hmm. my first one month goal was five pounds and I actually didn't accomplish that, mm -hmm. which I was still still getting acclimated to it yeah but i think the number one thing with the vision board for me was the visual aspect of it seeing it every day yeah every morning i think a lot of people i mean i do believe in the secret or whatever where thoughts become things because when you think about it you work towards those things mm -hmm. right yeah so every morning seeing those goals i work towards them mm -hmm. and i have accomplished I mean, for sure the one health goal, and then I've accomplished a couple business goals, but I'm still like, I still have my six month and my one month that I'm keep on, like I keep trickling on and just adding to those goals that once I Yeah, and, and they evolve over time. And I think that's been one of my biggest takeaways from this is, uh, and, and this is something that you and I have talked about is I have the tendency to disperse my energy into like, 10 things and then I'm half-assing 10 things instead of like, okay, here's the one thing. Like, what do I want the most? Put your energy into that one thing. And I think that this uh, vision board and this goal setting process has really opened my eyes to like what that one thing is for me that I want to do. And like I had all these goals that involve like just so many, so much, so much more than so, so much broader of a focus. And uh, when the truth was all I really want to do is produce music. And uh, now I feel like that is my focus. And um, I feel like if I didn't go into it with that idea of like, hey, this is these are some things I think I might like to do. I'm going to set goals for each of these things. And then as we went, I saw where I was failing and where I was succeeding. And the, the areas where I was succeeding was like, that was telling me that's what I truly wanted because that's where I was putting my energy towards. You know, and, and I think it's okay to take the mindset of like, hey, maybe four months ago I had these goals, but now here I am four months later and I realized, you know, maybe that wasn't really what I wanted. I thought that's what I wanted at the time, but as I started taking action towards that, I realized like, nah, really what I wanted was goals one, two, three, not four, five, six, because they weren't as related. Yeah. And I think that it's okay to have that. If you're someone who's just getting started with goal setting and moving forward in in the direction of designing your life as you want it to be, um, realize that you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself by making these things so rigid. You can always make them flexible. It's okay to change it up as you go. It's okay to realize like, hey, you know what? I wanted this then, but now it doesn't mean as much to me. That's all right. I, I agree. I think adjustment, adjustment and understanding of what you want is mm -hmm. key. Yeah, absolutely. I think that has helped me a lot. I feel like I'd be so stressed out if I didn't have these goals set. Mm -hmm. Like, 
just being in limbo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's funny because like you to me are more of a structure guy. Yeah. I'm not. Like, like if you look at my vision board versus his vision board, his has all of his goals like typed out up there. Mine doesn't. I just have pictures of the things that, that it represents in my head. And it's, but that's I mean, what works for me. And that's about like knowing yourself, right? Yeah. I mean, I still have pictures. No, I know. But you still have, like you have your goals like actually written there. Yeah. hundred percent. Is there, is there a reason why you don't? The reason why I do is because this dude, Kevion, talks about affirmations all the time. Mm-hmm. And he, I forget, I forget how long he does his morning affirmations is like five or 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Like he says everything that he is yep. and that's, I am this, I am that. And I think seeing those words and saying it in my mind mm-hmm. is a big key for me to succeed with those goals. Yeah. Like I am going to do this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do this. Yeah. Like I'm going to look like this. Absolutely. And I think, I think it's just. I guess it's just my affirmations. Yeah, I mean, I, and I think that's, uh, that's the way it works for you. And um, the reason why I don't is because, like, I'm so visual. Like, my imagination rules my reality. Uh, like, that's, I mean, you know me. That's yeah, yeah, how yeah. I've always been. Like, fucking people like Spence, you're a space captain. Like, what's going on in your mind? <laughs> yeah. And because that's because, like, I'm living in another world sometimes. And, like, <laughs> it me off sometimes. It's like, fuck, dude. But, but that's my way of connecting it is like hey man i want to own a house on the beach in ventura so what do i have i have a picture of a house on the beach in ventura and then i can sit i can sit in my meditation and put myself there and like hey man what's it feel like to wake up every morning and go surfing it's a great feeling because i can put myself there with my imagination so so that to answer your question that's why i use pictures instead of the words there but i think um that's something moving forward that I'm gonna experiment with is actually putting my next set of goals in words on that on that thing, just so I can see them every day, because I see the value in that. And that's like, especially, because uh, mine is the same as you, is like, that's the first thing I see in the morning. Yep. It's like, within seeing distance of my bed, I wake up, I look, like, there's my vision board looking right back at me. And so, um, just knowing how to break those visions down into each, you know, into like a a clear and concise sentence, I think would help me a lot. Is there any goals in the next one month that you set at the beginning of this year that you're trying to have done? I guess it's the middle of January yeah. by the middle of February. It's to put out the album Arbor Beer 2020. Yeah, that's my tangible goal in the next month to to uh, contribute to my life path and, and uh, especially the business side and 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 legacy and what i want to leave behind when i'm gone i want this to be a part of that it's sick Mm -hmm. it's super dope yeah i mean even like if you uh think back to like where i was a year ago with putting out the clothing optional blankets album like that's a big part of it too and like that progression from there to here bro it's huge i love it huge like but that's to be honest like like the only reason why i ever listen to it Mm -hmm. when it when it comes on my spotify is Mm -hmm. because it's you yeah there's one song i don't skip Mm -hmm. because i just fucking think it's hilarious at the beginning (sighs) and i know you know what it is fucking mary jane last dance Mm -hmm. look it up mary mary jane's last dance clothing option well actually if you really want to look it up Uh you should go on spotify i mean i'm sorry if you really want to look it up, you should go on SoundCloud and look up Blankets by Clothing Optional because that tells the story start to finish. That was an album that I produced uh, with, with my band back in Colorado, some of my best friends, super close. And uh, man, there's it, we put a lot of thought into that. And if you like really look at what we did and uh, listen to it start to finish, you'll, you'll appreciate how much thought and energy an effort went into it and man I, I can't be more proud of what we did man I mean it was it was awesome dude. same and to be honest I'm more proud of the progression that I've seen they'll they'll see it yeah yeah but like this what what you guys did there mm-hmm. into what you're doing now mm-hmm. is incredible yeah like it's like it's like five complete steps up mm-hmm. you know what I mean yeah yeah like it's a completely different ballpark it's pretty legit yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool to be honest I'm pretty hyped where this conversation went like wasn't really planned to like dive into things like that Mm -hmm. but uh yeah that's it so okay it's a it's a i mean it's a further in-depth conversation on like a goal that you've set yep and i I mean it's pretty sick yeah dude absolutely 
So can I turn it on you now? What, What's like, your one month goal? Or well, this time next month, what is a goal that you hope to have accomplished? And it could be anything. It doesn't have to be business related. You know, mine was business related. Um, but to, yours to be could honest, be body. Yours could be anything. To be honest, my my one month goal is pretty simple. Like the my main thought at least Mm -hmm. other than like yeah i have my business goals and everything that i'm thinking about it's more on the the life side like my my personal is a i need to move yeah (laughs) so i need to find a place yeah yeah and like i know it's pretty simple but like it's kind of a stressful thing it's not simple it sucks not in la it sucks yeah so i gotta find a place to live and that's like one of my main goals anyone needs a roommate in la hit me up (laughs) yeah yeah Well, I think we're going to end the conversation here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. To be honest, I went into this video with more of a, like a structured idea of how I wanted to film it. And it just became free flowing. And I kind of enjoyed this, creating this way more than that structured video I had in mind. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. And if you did, like and subscribe. We'll definitely do this again because... I think it's good content just sitting down talking to you. Yeah, I think I think so too, man. And I mean, we've talked about it a few times in the past is uh, doing a podcast. Yeah. Maybe we get a uh, Scotty Sideburns on here with us and Bro, we should. He brings a unique perspective too and uh, anybody who remembers us from high school, we were the three amigos. Yeah. Well, we need to hit up Scotty. Have him come out this weekend. Yeah. We'll hit up Scotty. Our episode 2 is coming and it's going to include Scotty Sideburns. So, keep tuned for that. Don't get it twisted.